everybody I let the song go a little bit long today but it's a good song I think of being on stage with Amy Lacey and nine other women who were fly babies and singing that in front of 10,000 people it was so much fun anyway let's start today off with uh, our little book we're doing day 10 today is the 10th day of September can you believe it and day 10 says, set a timer for 15 minutes and gather all the trash in your home and dispose of it. It doesn't take 15 minutes, y'all. It takes two minutes and you can do it. You can do anything for 15 minutes. So today I'm going to be setting my timer. This is in honor of, of day 10. I'm going to be setting my timer 15 minutes at a time. And every time the timer goes off, I'm going to do a flight, go downstairs. I've got some laundry going. I'm packing for my trip to see uh, my sister. And I've not met her husband, but I know him. If my sister loves him, I love him. And we're then we're going to go see Benjamin and talk talk at his parole hearing you know it's always good to support somebody you just never know how you can change somebody's life when you become sort of a mentor and a loving person for that person for that one person in your life you just never know what what's gonna I mean I was talking to a friend the other day and uh, he was his, he's in Africa, Pastor Andrew, and he just said, you know, I can go back to my great-grandparents who missionaries came over and learned our language, taught my family the Word of God. And he said, he said, that missionary changed the lives of all my family, my whole family. And I'm thinking every family needs its own personal missionary. Think about it. I had a grandmother. I had a wonderful grandmother who prayed for us daily. I know she prayed for us daily. Prayed for us daily. And she took us to church. She took us to church. She, she taught us things. You know, pretty is as pretty does was one of those things. So she instilled in us good things. Good things. So... The, the main thing is you just have to be a mentor to somebody. You have to reach out and help somebody, even if you don't think you're ever going to get anything in return, because that's not what it's about. It's about blessing others. Being a missionary 
in other people's lives. And you know, you can't do that. You can't do that if your house is a mess. You can't do that if your house is pulling you away and saying, you can't, you can't do anything because you don't have time. You have to take care of the clutter in the house. You have to do this. And it, it pulls you away from doing what God puts you here to do. And yes, our homes are our mission field. We have children. I mean, Justin gave a testimonial the other day to the youth group. And he told me about it. And he said, Mom, he said, the kids wanted me to give my testimonial about how I became a Christian. And he said, I didn't have one. I didn't have one. And I'm the same way. I didn't have one either because Angie asked me one time to give my testimonial. And I said, I don't have a testimonial. And, and so Justin said, I had a mom who took me to church. I had a mom that was involved in youth group. I had a mom that, that um, taught Sunday school. I had a mom that was involved in my life. She chaperoned. She did things with me. I had a mom that was there that showed me the Lord. And when it was time to become a Christian, I accepted the call. It wasn't some big epiphany that happened to me. Now that happens to some people and I'm not discounting that. But train up a child in the way they should go and when they are old, they won't depart from it. I don't know where that is in the Bible. But we can all be missionaries for our family. We can all be missionaries. So think about it. If your home is pulling you away from doing what's right, if it's standing in the way of you being in church and, and taking people to church with you and taking your children to church, and if all they see is a, a screaming mom on Sunday morning trying to get ready for church, they're not going to want to go. But if you make it a loving, oh, let's go worship the Lord situation, you're going to change some lives. And Letha's right, planting the seed, planting a seed of love for the Lord. Uh, and I'm on my soapbox now, but that encompasses everything I am. My love for the Lord, my love for helping you. And it just changes the world one person at a time. I had a loving grandmother who prayed for me every single day. And now look, we get to, I mean, Patty and I were talking about the other day. I'm just overwhelmed by the fact that I get to talk to you every single day and love on you and show you what you can be and help you not be overwhelmed and help you define who you are without, without the clutter. Now, we have a fly baby on here, uh, Melissa. She's a good friend of mine. And she has gotten rich. She inherited a house that was full of clutter. And she told me this morning that the clutter is gone. The clutter is gone. Everything she owns is in one bedroom and she has ordered carpet. And she's going to have carpet put down in her house. How beautiful is that? Her grandmother left her house, but she also left her a legacy of clutter. And it's taken her a while to get rid of it. But with her mother's help and some other people, she has gotten the clutter out of the house. And she's going to lay carpet down. I told her that that was a, a great way to, to do it is just set the date up for carpet. But she had a grandmother that left her a legacy. That legacy wasn't the greatest in the world, but it's a house. And house is made of, of wood and 
shingles and there's bare bones there and you get the clutter out of the way. You got a home. You got a home. You get the clutter out of your house. You got a home. So folks, you can change the world, even if it's just within your four walls. You can become the person you want to be. And it starts with getting rid of the clutter and flipping the switch, y'all. Flipping the switch that says, I don't have to be perfect. All I need is 15 minutes. Like day 10 said, all I need is 15 minutes. 15 minutes to get started, 15 minutes to do something instead of, I don't have time creating this legacy of clutter. Because that's what I don't have time says. You're putting it off. You're putting it off. So I have little systems in place all day long. Every time I, I'd start the day with a couple of cups of water while I'm in the bathroom, that sort of gets my pump primed to drink water all day because I got to go back to the bathroom. And when I'm in the bathroom, I keep up with my water with some little holy medals that I got at shrines around the country. And I pray for people. I pray for people continually. I continually pray for people. because, And I have my little prayer bracelet that helps me remember to pray for people. Because each knot is a different person I pray for. I just go around until I get all the knots done. And it's a one time I asked a Mennonite lady. You know, they wear these little hats on their head. These little white hats on their head. And I said, why do you wear that? I mean, I'm, I want to know. You know, I, I'm not being nosy or anything. It's just I like to study other religions or they're Christian, but um, I don't know what the hat represents. And she says, that's a reminder for us to pray, to be in prayer all the time, to pray without ceasing. And I thought, how beautiful is that? So next time you see a little hat on a little midnight lady's ha head, you know that's her, her prayer scarf. That's a prayer scarf. I've got a little scarf quilt square in front, in front of me that was sent by a lovely lady and it's got a quote on it uh, and let me pull it down so I can get it and show it to you and he said to her daughter be of good cheer your faith has made you well go in peace how beautiful is that how beautiful is that? And I got to put it back where I can see it. I like it. I got my magnets holding it. So having things around you that remind you to pray. We don't have to take the top of the stair. We don't have to see the top of the staircase to know that the things we're doing today are going to help us tomorrow. They are. This is plan and play day. We're, our before bed routine is the habit of the month. Plan a little bit today. You know, Leanne and I started this hot melt challenge yesterday. We got 11, 1,200 people following us, probably more than that, and that aren't even in the community that we started over on Facebook. And if you want to get signed up, go sign up at savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. Now, we've already done one day. You're going to have to jump in and do an extra day longer. But read the 17 pages. We're going to do this every month when we're in zone two. There's Leanne right now. She went and got her blood work done, y'all. This is a good thing. Get a doctor's order and go get your blood work done. This is great. You don't have to see the top of the staircase to take the first step. That's a, a, a paraphrase from Dr. Martin Luther King. We just need to take the first step. And that first step for, for me, my friend, Lee Ann, brought everything I needed to do the hot melt sprint with her. 
She was cooking it. She made a big pot of soup. She split it with me. And I'm going to do that for somebody else. I'm going to put together a big pot of soup. Robert's gone to the grocery store right now. I gave him my grocery list because Leanne had the recipe right there. And I'm going to make a double batch of this hot melt soup. And I'm going to take it to my sister Patty so she can have it. And I'm going to bag it up and freeze it in two cup portions just for her and Phil. And it's going to be so fun, but I'm paying it forward. I can't do it for Leanne because she did it for me. So I'm going to do it for somebody else. And then Patty will do it for somebody else. So it's about paying it forward and loving each other. And it's amazing what being kind and blessing others can do for your life. Yes, it's go to savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. Sign up for the emails. Download the the um the little orange packet of stuff. It's it's 17 pages. It's amazing. And the soup is really good because what we do is we take five or six spinach leaves, break them up, put it in the bowl, heat the soup up on top of the stove. I don't like to use a microwave for this because it's this soup is filled with nutrients. I'm telling you, it is nutrient-rich soup, and it's filling. So I had a soup, a salad, and it's amazing. It's just amazing. Still, okay, I don't know what Leanne's saying. But anyway, we'll get signed up. Go over to our community. We have a hot melt sprint community because uh, there's a link on that. And then it will be wonderful. And the soup is delicious. You pour the hot soup in on the broken up spinach leaves and it's to die for. If you can't eat spinach, get some other leaf in there. Leafy greens. It's a good thing. Dandelion leaves mixed up salad greens, whatever. So folks, y'all have a good day. We got lots to do. We've got, I haven't lost any people so far. So we're over 300 now. I haven't lost people. Yep. Buried in clutter's tough. You have to get the recipe off Leanne's website. It's really good. But it's it's going to reduce inflammation. It's going to be powerful. Now, I got some announcements. Office in the bags are back in stock. All colors. All colors. I know you've been waiting on them. Especially the red one for emergencies and Christmas. You put a salad in your husband's lunch today. How cool is that? And she has a recipe for salad dressing. She has a recipe for everything. The salad is just enriched with vegetables. I love cucumbers. And I'm going to make me up a bowl of, of cucumbers. And we're drinking apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon or two, and a cup of 12 ounces of water. It's kind of sparkly and feels good. And it's great. It's great to sort of curb your appetite before you have a meal, 30 minutes before your meal. It's savingdinner.com forward slash sprint. Yep. Savingdinner.com. And then the our complete cleaning system, you save $93 on it right now. It's normally um, 100 and hundred and something, but you're saving $93. It's $99.50 if you get it right now. By the end of the month, we won't have that sale on anymore. So here's to saving money. Here's to, oh, and let me tell you, I sort of jump-started 
the hot and melt sprint for me on uh, Saturday and Sunday because I'm going to be traveling this week, next weekend. But I, in three days of not really doing it Saturday and Sunday, but being mindful of what I was eating, wow. I feel like I'm melting on the inside. Literally, I feel like the fat is melting away. And and skin is getting loose. It's it's just I haven't felt this way in a long time, y'all. So thank you, Leanne, for loving me enough to help me get jump started. And we're gonna do this once a month. You can do anything for seven days, you know? You can do anything for 15 minutes. The main thing we have to remember is we are our own worst enemy when we whine. So stop whining. Go over to savingdinner.com forward, sl forward slash sprint and check things out. Check things out. So what is somebody saying? Now, uh, somebody asked me about not being able to have anesthesia. Um, the problem's not so much the anesthetic, anesthesia, it's, it's the stuff they use to wake you up with. My sister Patty almost died with it. Um, we do not metabolize it well. It's a vasopressor. And when they use that to wake you back up, we overdose on it. So it's hard on our bodies, but I don't go to, I don't get put to sleep. And if I need something done, they will uh, figure out, a, uh, figure out a way to do it. Thank the Lord. I haven't had to have anything done. Well, I love you all. I think Leanne is coming over here shortly. I hope we're going to spend the day together working on stuff and getting things done, getting things done. So here's to plan and play day because I had a play date. I have a play date with Leanne today and we're going to have some fun together. Maybe we'll do tea time together. Maybe we'll do her show together. Who knows? But check her out at one o'clock this afternoon. Her show um, is at one o'clock and then my tea time, teapot time is at three. So you have got every few hours, a little bit of motivation coming at you. So I love you all. I will talk to you at three o'clock and I'll see you in Leanne's show at one. I don't know if I'll be on or not, but if she's here, we'll be doing it together. Bye.